And we had a chance to talk with Darcy Camden, you know, our stylist about this fine line between being comfy and being sloppy. And so she's helping us out with the men today. During this pandemic, you've seen this high demand for loungewear, athleta wear, and it's talked about in the context of women, but not so much men. So what trends are you seeing with them? Oh my gosh, everywhere from New York Fashion Week to mm -hmm. street style everywhere, we're seeing sweatpants incorporated for men more than ever before. And it's exciting for guys because I know this is what they really want to wear. I have to imagine there's a thin line between looking sloppy and looking cool and casual. So are you going to show us how to put it together? Yeah, right? <laughs> there's a big difference and it's good to get this out like right off the top. All right, so tell us about your first look. And our model is Nathan, and I took him to University Village. Everything is actually from University Village, which makes it oh. really easy if you just want to go one location, mask on. So the first look, I'm calling it business and casual. So before the pandemic, it was all about business casual, and now we're sort of having a separation. Your business on top and you're comfy on bottom. It's like mm -hmm. the mullet of dressing. And <laughs> we're all doing it. I'm doing it right now. I have sweatpants on. Darcy, like, I got to acknowledge. We're both doing it. <laughs> So it's so ubiquitous that, you know, designers are doing it. And this has really become a significant look that everyone is incorporating into their life. So my tip, if you're going to do this, like a nice button down collared shirt and a nice pair of sweatpants mm -hmm. is to on top on your button down collared shirt, pick a color. So get away from the dark neutrals, the blacks and okay. the dull grays and pick a color green, blue, yellow. In this case, we did a really subtle pink. Honestly, to your benefit, when you're on Zoom, if you're leading a meeting, it's so much easier for people to pay attention to you if you're wearing a vibrant color. A lot of time with men, color makes them confused because they don't know how to build an entire look with a color that they're not used to wearing. But now you're just thinking about from the waist up. So you don't have to worry about all the other components. And maybe you can take some more risks with your shirt choice. That's such a great point because with this whole virtual world for, you know, a significant uh, number of people, it is about having that pop on a camera. So that yeah, makes a good, and yeah, you can really good just point. think about the shirt mm -hmm. by itself. Okay. So your next look is all in cozy, right? Mm -hmm. So this is like all layered up. We did what's called a monochrome style, which mm -hmm. is versions of the same color in different tone. And this is a huge street style trend. I did it here with gray. The base of it is a sweatsuit from Banana Republic. It's a hood, it's a zip up hooded sweatshirt and super comfy sweatpants. And then I do what I like to call the over under. Under the hoodie, it did a, a super dark gray turtle neck. This one was under $30 from H&M. And then over, we did a really nice wool car coat. So I cannot think of anywhere that is currently open that he could not wear this outfit. And it looks really intentional and polished and stylish. And, and still cozy, all of that. Yeah. Yeah. No, beautiful. Yeah. So the over under, I love it. I'm going to remember over that. Over under. <laughs> and this next thing you're going to show us, there's also a bit of layering in this one as well. Absolutely. In our third look, we took a hoodie. Guys love a hoodie. I love a hoodie. Everyone loves a hoodie in the rain. You kind of have your little, your coverage. It's mm -hmm. great. It's highly functional and very, very comfortable. And so think about layering over it. I know when it comes to layering, guys tend to ask me like, how many layers can I really do at one mm -hmm. time? When I'm doing a menswear look, it usually involves like three or four layers. So here our model Nathan is wearing a t-shirt and then he's wearing a hoodie. And then we put like a button down utility shirt over it mm -hmm. that could also be a jean jacket he could do a vest with this if it was very very cold he could do like a down coat still so the trick is choosing layers that really work well together usually thinner layers you can wear more you wear layer thick over thick over thick pretty soon you can't like put your arms down yeah and i was going to ask that like is layering good for all body types 
totally. And you're layering things on top of things that you like. It tends mm -hmm. to create a really awesome outfit and you can really customize it. Like if you tend to get warm really easily, sometimes a vest is a really good layer as opposed to like a full jacket. So the customization of layering is all, is I think the most exciting part. And um, the pro tip though, with the hoodie okay. is you always pop the hood over so that you can see it kind of not stuck underneath the layers. You want to pop it out. I am so guilty of that all the time. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise you're walking around with like, what's happening back there? Yeah. Now what about, you know, the age piece of this? When I look at some of these looks, they look really cool and hip. Is there an age range that's appropriate for this or for everybody? That is such a great question. And I want to just say, this is for everyone. The looks that we showed on our model, he's probably in his 20s. I would have done the exact same thing, a model in his 40s, in his 60s, in his 70s. That is what is so great about this trend of sweatpants. There is no limit to who can be rocking a great pair of sweatpants. <sighs> Dreams do come true, Darcy. <laughs> Um, uh, I loved all those looks, but I have to say the, the, the gray one with the matching sweatsuit and the long cut, there's no way. There's no way I could get that, Chris to wear that. What about Vic? No? Okay, so then do you usually pick out stuff for him or does he do his own thing? I do, I do. And within reason, like I, we just got into joggers and that was, that was a battle. He, what, what's, what's going on with this? And I'm, I, I so... I, it might have been. That's that might cool be a that you dress him. I like it. Okay. What about Vic? Do you? Girl, no. I, <laughs> I can barely dress myself. Okay. So once I can get myself together, like I need Darcy in I, my life. Oh. <laughs> all right. Well, we have all of Darcy's looks on the website. So coming up next, we're talking about cryptocurrency. You know, I don't know about you, but this leaves me scratching my head sometimes. You're not alone. When we come back, we're going to be talking about the world of digital currency explained in terms we can all understand. Well, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> also, a new book aims to capture the spirit of the city of Bremerton, not its past, but right now from the buildings to the people. And later, yeah, I know, I can't even believe I let this happen, but we are playing a hilarious round of Speak Out, and I have to tell you, my teammate is amazing at this. We'll be right back.